All right, man, so look, we came across another crazy topic. Your boy was going for a day. I was going for a day, and I came across this, okay? This is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. But before we get to the video, I need y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to my post notifications, do what y'all do. Y'all know what y'all already know what to do, man. Y'all already been here. Okay, but look, Florida QB prospect loses his scholarship for using the N-word while rapping. If we all can't sing alone, don't put the word in your songs. That's point blank. You know what I'm saying? So this Florida, this Florida pros, this Florida QB prospect loses his scholarship for rapping. Now, I'm gonna show y'all the rap video. Okay, this right here is the rap video, and I want y'all to just read the comments. Also, this is ridiculous, bro. I'm like honestly done with the people in America today. But look, this is the video. Okay, it's like a five second, not even five, a two second clip. So he's singing a song. They say the N word. Okay, he's singing a, a black song. That that said the N word and he sung along with the words. Now remind you, this man ain't had no intent of disrespecting black people. He he didn't have no no intent. The man just singing a song. I feel like if y'all want people to stop saying a the word, then stop putting it in songs. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm not finna look. If I'm singing a song, I'm not about to blank out a word because oh I don't want to I don't want to offend another person. If the person in the if the person singing the song didn't offend you. I shouldn't offend you either, no matter what color skin I am. Now, let's play it one more time. Like I said, this is like a two-second clip, bro. Two-second clip. I don't even know what song he's singing because I don't even really listen to rap. But look at the comments. I want y'all to read the comments. This is how sick people in America is today. So sensitive. I hope this guy fails in life and is more miserable than mine. Okay. Um... University needs to take action to show it does not condone this terrible look and to record it and post it is even worse. Bro, people in college, black people in college, black athletes in college, they always post them singing, rapping a song that say the N-word. Okay, this ain't the first guy that done sung a song, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, freaking said the N-word. Like, this ain't the first guy. Y'all only doing this because the man is white. But then, oh, people say I'm defending white people. I'm not defending nobody. I'm just trying to point out the hypocrisy within my own community. This is ridiculous. Then you scroll down more. People just saying a whole bunch of a whole bunch of dumb stuff. Hold on. Dang near everyone has said and, and y'all getting on him for it. Actually, I agree with that. I definitely agree. That's exactly what I'm saying. But then look, this is what he said. Okay. He said, I was in the car listening to rap music, rapping along to the words and posted a video of it. Posted a video of it on social media. I deeply apologize for the words in the song. In the song that I chose to say, it was hurtful and offensive to many people, and I regret that, bro. No, you don't. Don't regret nothing, okay? Don't regret nothing. These people are just sensitive, bro. They just, every time a white person do something, they get so sensitive and they get so butthurt about it. I fully accept the consequences for my actions, and I, re and I respect the University of Florida's decision to withdraw my scholarship, offered to play football. That's crazy. This man just lost a whole career, a whole career because he said one simple word. My intention was never to hurt anybody, and I recognize that even when going along with the song, my words still carry a lot of weight. I will strive to be better and to become the best version of myself, both on and off the field. I know that learning from my mistakes is a first is a first important step. Marcus Stokes. Now, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, okay? Was it really necessary for the man to lose his scholarship? Simply because the man said N-word. Like, you people seriously need to just get over the N-word, okay? I'm not, like, I understand what, how much weight it held back then, but if y'all can say it yourself, then, I mean, seriously, why does it matter when another person say it? Oh, it's so offensive when a white person say it, but it's not offensive when we say it to each other each and every day. You people are just hypocrites, okay? It's crazy to me that this man lost a whole career opportunity just because he said one simple N-word. But let it would have been a black athlete that said the same thing. This man was not have got his scholarship taken. None of that. Nobody would have never been mad at him. None of that. I mean, seriously, bro, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Honestly, bro, it, Bronny... All these other athletes, Mike, uh, what's the, um, Mikey, Mikey Willis, like all these other athletes that's done set the N-word countless of times on the internet, posted on social media, they didn't have the scholarship taken away from them. No, every college still want them, everything. But let them would have been white, oh, uh, scholarship taken, you're suspended, woo woo, you're canceled, this and the man, y'all people need to seriously get over it, seriously. We is in the year of 2022. Y'all say the word nonstop. I'm just tired of hearing about the N-word. If you don't want nobody to say it, then don't say it yourself. You, If you want somebody to act a certain way, then you need to act the way you want them to act. It's simple as that. Okay? Simple as that. 
But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. I have no, I have seriously not a lot of words for this topic. It's just I had to share this with y'all because I want to know y'all perspective on the situation. Was this the right thing to do? Was it taking it too far? What type of punishment does he deserve? Do he deserve a punishment or do he not deserve a punishment? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the N-word and how y'all feel about this young brother getting his scholarship taken away simply. He probably was a cold QB too. I seen little pictures of him. Man, probably was, you know what I'm saying? Probably was going to be the next Tom Brady. You feel me? But, I mean, hey, it is what it is, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the conversation below. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.